it's Sunday, Mother's Day. I'm out here in the garage. I'm starting to think I may have a problem. They say uh, realization is the first step. Yeah, too many darn cars. But anyway, I'll worry about that later. I got a new uh, universal joint, double universal joint for this, and I need to fabricate a support for the steering shaft right here. Which I'll work on a little bit maybe today. I was at an auction a while ago. A friend of mine called and said, Hey, you got to get down here. The guy's selling a bunch of stuff. So I went and, as usual, I was a sucker and bought a bunch of stuff. But some big crate of Coca Cola crate of bearings here, old stuff. Look at that. Inspected September 1948. I don't know what it fits, but. I got it. Anyway, I was looking through all this stuff to see if see if I had a bearing that might work on that shaft, which of course I did not. It was pretty neat looking through all this old stuff. There's a new old stock bracket for something. I don't know what. But I went and bought my bearing that I needed with three quarter inch sh shaft size and that sucker's made in China. What's this world coming to? Well, it's Saturday, back home from work. I'm gonna go to work on this old 55. Worked on it a little bit last night. I didn't get the camera out, but. I uh, got the U-joint installed made a little bracket right here to mount the mount to the frame and keep the shaft stable so it wouldn't flop around while the steering wheel was turning just made that out of a piece of flat steel and I think it'll work fine I got a piece of a valve spring there holding that tight that's kind of different but it works good now no binding whatsoever I need to go on and get the fuel lines run put the new fuel pump on it last night get the fuel line run and uh, start putting this front end together all right got the fuel lines run a new one up to the carburetor a quadra junk and uh, now I think I'm gonna put some front end parts on this thing Welcome to the DIY channel as we repair shutters and other numerous exciting, not really, just kidding. Working on the truck here and I got the inner fenders in and radiator support on and I went and put the fender on discovered I'm minus my nuts here. So I'm going to weld on some more, two more, paint a couple bare spots and then mount that fender and then I'm afraid I'm going to have to go in the house and cook. My wife has requested it. Well, before I go in, I had I just had to put the fender on. You know, somebody could trip over it or something. And maybe stretch the wires out a little bit. You know, just to see where they go. I guess I better go in now, though, or I'll be in trouble. But don't that thing look cool? Nice and low. 